To continue this series of showing you just how powerful a simple noise texture can be, we're gonna create a brushed steel texture using only a noise texture. I'm Jordan Needham, this is jham 3 d and let's go ahead and get into this. So as you can see, I kind of colored it blue, but this is the brushed steel texture. I've been using this a lot actually, and I'll show you one of the uses that I used it for the other day, which I thought was pretty cool. This works really well with like logo animations or intros and stuff like that, because it's very simple. and if you animate it using Eevee, it's not a lot to take in for the hardware. So here is an example of where I used it. Nothing crazy, but you can see how that actually does make quite a bit of a difference than if it were just plain blue. To make this texture, it's actually extremely simple. Shift A, add in a principled BDSF. Plug this into the surface of your material output. Turn up your metallic all the way up, of course, and then turn your roughness down to about 0.2. Metal is a reflective surface, so you don't want it all the way because, you know, hardly any time are you ever going to want to do that but around 0.2 i think works pretty well for metal it kind of depends for what kind of metal you're going for but for steel i figured out that works pretty well also your specular i keep that around 0.5 it kind of also depends on where your metal is at if it's supposed to be super clean or if it's supposed to be kind of beat up and used a little bit more that'll affect how you use the specular. What I'm trying to say here is that if something is new, then it's probably going to be shinier. But if it's been sitting around somewhere for a long time, then it's probably not going to be as shiny. So keep that in mind when you're making this. But for now, we're going to leave the specular at about 0.5, roughness at 0.2. Now we're going to shift A, add in a noise texture. Now shift A, add in a bump node, plug that into the normal, plug the factor of your noise texture into the height of your bump node. Now you're like, bro, how are we gonna make this look like brushed steel? Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm a little crazy, but yes, we're gonna make it do that by clicking on this noise texture. Click Control T and that'll bring up your mapping and texture coordinate nodes. If it did not, no worries. That just means you don't have Node Wrangler enabled. So come up here to your top, click on Edit Preferences go into add-ons and search node wrangler and you can see here i already have it on so it's enabled i check this box and it works for me now press shift a add in a mix rgb plug the noise texture into the factor of the mix rgb node and plug that into the color of your principal bdsf this first color is going to be what you want the primary color of your metal to be so i'm going to put it kind of around this blue color because I, I don't know why I like this in blue and then put this second color at something very dark almost completely black but not completely black here's where the magic starts to happen go onto your map node and depending on the orientation of your object or how you want this brush steel like which direction you want the brush steel to be in that's going to depend on which one of these three values on the X, Y, Z, you're going to scale all the way or not all the way, but you're going to scale it up. For me, I figured out that scaling on the Z is what works in this scenario. So scale it way up on the Z axis. You can already see that we're starting to get it there. I think I put it around 90 worked pretty well. And then take this bump node. It's actually too high. So we're going to put this down a little bit more. Now you can really see how this is starting to make sense. And after that, you're pretty much done. It's super, super simple. And that's kind of the point of this tutorial and all of the tutorials in this series that you don't need to make a ridiculous texture with a bunch of nodes to make your shaders look good. And actually, I prefer to keep it as simple as possible. That way it doesn't take up too much VRAM and it's just faster. Another thing I really like about using simple textures is it's actually really easy to customize them. If you watch a tutorial like you're watching right now, you can see that there's only like three things to control here. So if you want to customize it to your liking you can totally do that one of the things that I was thinking about doing is um, maybe playing with this roughness value so the uh, dark values don't look so intense because if it's all the way down it looks pretty intense around 0.5 looks pretty good but you might want to bring it up actually to around 0.8 or something like that. It kind of makes it look more realistic and it doesn't look too dark. So that is how to make brush steel inside a blender using only a noise texture. So if you're a beginner, this is really powerful. Once I figured this out, it really opened the doors to my creativity because if you figure out how to use a noise texture, like I said, it just opens a ton of doors. So for more content like this, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss when I upload. I'm Jordan Needham. This has been JHAM3D and I'll catch you in the next episode of this series. Oh,